Hello, my name is Gilles and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about a song named Der Amazon Flug to be played on the Kalimba B11. I first heard this song on a, a video from Connie Sommer and he plays amazingly. <laughs> And when I first heard it, I thought it will take me years to, to be able to play this. Well, I was wrong. The song is not that difficult and it comes on the book Kalimba and Sansula Melody. This song is actually based on a very simple pattern and I'm going to teach you this pattern. Everyone can learn to play this song. Ok, let's get started and have a look at the pattern. If you don't know how to read music sheets, well, don't worry, I don't know either. Fortunately, it comes accompanied with the tablature which tells you what keys to press. Remember, the numbers refer to the keys in the kalimba from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The top row contains the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. And the bottom row contains the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let me tell you a trick to get used to the numbers. Try to say out loud a random number between 1 and 11 and then look for that key. For example, where is 1 and 6, 9, 4, 7, uh, where is 2, where is 5, where is 8, 8, uh, where is 11, and where is 3 and 10. Ok, let's get back to the tablature. The top row is for the left hand while the bottom row is for the right hand. Let's try to play it. 1 and 6, 8, 4, 7, 6, 8, 1, 6, 4, 8, 6, 7, 8. And then it repeats. But, did you find it complicated? But I said it was simple. Let's break it down. Look at the top numbers only. What do you see there? 1, 4, 6. 1, 4, 6. Do you see a pattern there? And the bottom line? 6, 8, 7, 8. 6, 8, 7, 8. So the left thumb plays 1, 4, 6. 1, 4, 6. While the right thumb plays 6, 8, 7, 8. 6, 8, 7, 8. So we become with two simple patterns. You got it! Now the tricky part is to combine both patterns. You need to progress on both patterns at the same time. And to help you, notice that the left thumb goes down, while the right thumb goes up and then down. So, they start both at the same time, then the right thumb goes up, the left thumb goes down, the right thumb goes up, the left thumb goes down, and it ends with the 8. Both, right, left, right, left, right. You got the first part, and now you have to repeat the patterns, but instead of both at the same time, you start with the left, and then the right, left, right, left, right, and it ends with an 8. Start with both thumbs, left on top, right on bottom, right goes up, left goes down, right goes up, left goes down, 8. 
Restart left on top, right on bottom, left goes down, right goes up, left goes down, right goes up, and ends with an 8. Now take your time, keep practicing this pattern and your brain will get used to it. Once you are comfortable with it, we can move to the next phrase. Repeat three times the pattern and then the next measure starts with the same pattern but replaces the last two notes with 9 and 11. 1 2 3 and four. And goes back to the pattern three times again. After that, the next measure starts with the same pattern and ends with two, two, four, two on the left hand and eight, ten, eight, ten, eight on the right hand. Two, two, four, two, eight, ten, eight, ten, eight. And again, you need to progress on both at the same time to mix them together. So you start with the right. Then you have to chain it with the initial pattern. One. Two. Three and four. So far, so good. Now let's look at the next two measures together until the last four notes. The right thumb keeps on the same pattern: six, eight, seven, eight, six, eight, seven, eight. This tells your brain to focus on the left thumb because the right thumb already knows his way. The left thumb changes one note in the pattern each time. This tells your brain to pay attention to the top notes, because the bottom notes, the 4 and 6, will follow automatically because you already memorized it. Notice the gaps after the second and third repetitions. This allows both patterns to restart at the same time, which makes it even easier. Do the pattern with one, as it ends go to three, as it ends go to five, and back to three. And finally at the end we add 7, 3, 9, 1. And the whole sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Two, three, four. This concludes this tutorial. If you master this pattern, the rest of the song will be no problem for you. Keep practicing and you'll get it to full speed.
This pattern is so powerful that you can create your own melodies with it. Try changing one or two notes here and there and see what you can come up with. That's all from me now. I hope you like. Any comments or questions, I'll be happy to reply. Bye!